Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Windows 10 file sharing is not working properly on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start this tutorial off by opening up the start menu, just soft click on the start button one time. Type in services, best match should come back with services right above app. So go ahead and just left click on that. Locate the function discovery resource publication. And double click on that. Underneath startup type, click inside the drop down and select automatic. And then service status, select the start option. And then select apply and OK. Once you're done with that, close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that's been able to resolve the problem. If you're still having a problem, you can try opening back services up and then go underneath the same service we were just under. Double click on it. Select the log on tab. And make sure this account is selected here. OK, so once that's done, select OK. Close out of here, restart your computer, and that should hopefully be about it. One more thing you can try would be to open up the Start menu. Type in Control Panel. Best match to go back with Control Panel right above App. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the View By up at the top right and select Category. Select the Network and Internet category. And then select the Network and Sharing Center. On the left side, select Change Adapter Settings. Select the adapter that you're currently using and then right click on it. Select Properties. If Internet Protocol version 6 is currently checkmarked, you want to uncheck it. And then select OK. And then once you're done with that, restart your system. If you're for some reason you're having some kind of internet connectivity problem, you can always just re-enable Internet Protocol version 6. So once you're done with that, close it here. You can also try opening up the start menu, type in Windows Features, turn Windows Features on or off. Locate the SMB 1.0 slash CIFS file system file sharing support. You want to make sure it's selected in here, so if it's not filled in, just make sure you fill it in right through there. And then select OK. Restart your system, and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.